This is CBS 7 News at 10. Your eye on West Texas. The search continues tonight for Haley Dunn after investigators try to find answers into human remains discovered near a Big Spring airport. Investigators have cleared the scene and have taken evidence for further analysis. An FBI team arrived in Big Spring this morning near the McMahon airfield where the remains were found yesterday afternoon. CBS 7 is told that the gender of the body found is known, but police are not saying whether it is male or female. Meanwhile, this investigation has put the Haley Dunn case back into the, in, into the national spotlight. The missing cheerleader case was the topic of discussion on tonight's Nancy Grace on CNN Headline News. The talk show host reported that Billy Dunn and her boyfriend, Sean Adkins, are back in Colorado City. Our CBS 7 crews have been all over West Texas covering this developing story. Tonight we'll have the very latest on the investigation into those human remains found in Big Spring. We also speak to a former medical examiner in Odessa about what's next in this case and what information an autopsy can reveal about a person's identity. And we are back in Haley Dunn's hometown where the community is waiting for answers. First, we'll go to CBS 7 Shannon Murray, who has spent the past two days on the scene in Big Spring. She joined us now live in the studio. Shannon. Jay Tatum, the human remains were found yesterday afternoon near the McMahon Wrinkle Airport in Big Spring. The scene was immediately secured as law enforcement began their investigation, and it didn't take long for people to begin speculating. Jump to the conclusion that the body could be Haley Dunn, the missing teenager from Colorado City. But for now, law enforcement is staying tight-lipped about what they have found. The pasture near the McMahon Wrinkle Airport in Big Spring is dotted with yellow caution tape, remnants of a crime scene. After employees from Desert Tanks LLC discovered human remains in the field. And the remains are par partially mummified and skeletal. Law enforcement swarmed the scene, including an FBI evidence recovery team from Dallas. Rumors quickly begin to spread and people arrive on the scene with one question in mind. Could the body belong to the missing Colorado City teenager, Haley Dunn? I wanted to come and see for myself where it is and hear what the law enforcement had to say. But the Big Spring Police Department says the identity cannot be determined yet. Haley Dunn's name keeps coming up. I'm not going to speculate on that. I don't know who it is. We don't know. Sergeant Tony Everett points out that there are two other active missing persons cases in Howard County, including Arlen Bynum and Bobby Marquez. Both have been missing for several years. There's really no point in speculating on who it is or what happened. Very few details are being released about the evidence, and Sergeant Everett believes it will be a long process to find answers because he says a case like this one is not a guessing game. Big Spring PD says the body has been sent to a funeral home. They will know more once autopsy and pathology results are in. Haley Dunn's search leaders say they never searched the area near the airport since it is private property. Reporting live in the studio, Shannon Murray, CBS 7 News. Shannon, thanks for that report. A complete autopsy will be performed on the body that was found yesterday. Uh, getting the results will take time, as you just heard, as investigators wait for the answers they need to solve this death. CBS 7's Mike Barker has more. The autopsy into the death of the person found in Big Spring will answer a multitude of questions. Questions such as the age, gender, and cause of death in the case. And even though lawmen have conducted a thorough search of the scene, an amazing array of information can come from the autopsy. Dental records uh, can be used for positive identification. Uh, fingerprints, uh, if that uh, is available uh, from your decedent. Um, in some cases, uh, bodies are decomposed and things of that nature, uh, but uh, maybe uh, it's possible to still rehydrate fingers and that sort of thing. It can be a frustrating time for lawmen investigating the case who'd like to have that critical information right now. It may be that the most important information in the case will come from a preliminary examination of the body. The bone lends itself uh, to uh, indicating to you maybe a sharp force injury uh, on, a, on a bone. Uh, it would uh, tend to lend itself to possibly gunshots that may shatter uh, bones, uh, fracture injuries uh, that may uh, be there. Uh, certainly the skull would, uh, you know, would give you a, a, a pretty good uh, indication. It may take weeks for the full autopsy results to be known, but ordinarily in a case like this, the preliminary results should be back within two weeks. Mike Barker, CBS 7 News. 
Mike, thank you very much. We continue our team coverage in, the ha in Haley Dunn's hometown. Many residents have been searching for answers ever since the teenager went missing just over a year ago. CBS 7's Robert Guadarrama spent the day in Colorado City speaking with those on the front lines in the search for Haley. He joins us now in the studio with how they are reacting to this discovery. Robert? Over a year later, the community is still waiting for answers. Members of the search team I spoke with say they're praying for some type of closure. The initial chaos is over, but one year later, questions remain as to what exactly happened to Haley. Though there has been many occasions of remains being found and clues that could have been related to Haley, search leader Christy Lloyd says this finding in Big Spring is different. We think since it's so close to the only person of interest, mother's house, we were really thinking that it, it could be. But until any tests come back, everything's just an assumption. A possibility that makes Lloyd sick to her stomach. Because that would mean that somebody did kill her and that they've been leading everybody on a wild goose chase for 15 months. And that's just... It's just horrifying to think that somebody could kill somebody and just go on with their life and not even have any remorse for it. Nevertheless, she says an end to this is needed for her, the family, and the community to move on. Everybody still wants Haley to be alive. They want her to be well and happy and a peppy 14-year-old teenager. But at this point in time, I think everybody is just wanting closure, whether she's deceased or alive. It's, it's time to find out what happened. Lloyd says if it turns out the remains do not belong to Haley, they will keep on searching until she is found. Reporting in the newsroom, Robert Guadarrama, CBS 7 News. Robert, thanks. Colorado City Chief of Police Roy Owens says he is stepping back and letting the FBI conduct their investigation. According to the Odessa American, Sweetwater Attorney John Young says his client, Billy Dunn, and her family are conflicted between the need for closure and hopes that Haley is still alive. We will, of course, continue to follow this developing story on CBS 7 and CBS7.com. If you would like to see our coverage again or anything concerning Haley Dunn, we have dedicated a section of our website to this story. Just click on the search for Haley Dunn icon. That's at our website at CBS7.com.